In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. My dear friend, I'm um, sure you are well. Today we celebrate the 25th Sunday of Ordinary Time. Our Gospel passage is taken from Mark chapter 9, verses 30 to 37. Our first reading is taken from the book of Wisdom, chapter 2, verses 12, then 17 to 20. Our responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 54, verses 3 to 4, 5, 6, and 7 and 8. And our second reading is taken from the book of James, chapter 3, verses 16, to chapter 4, verse 3. On this 25th Sunday of Ordinary Time, we exalt Jesus Christ, the Son of God. He is the wisdom that came down from heaven to serve humanity. The church invites us to listen to him and follow his example by living an ordinary and peaceful life. Today's first reading is fulfilled in the life of Christ. First, it points to Christ, the Son of God who was put to death by jealous and wicked people. As a righteous man, Jesus reprimanded and condemned the ambitious Pharisees and scribes of his time. So, they took offense and persecuted and crucified Christ. This reading is also fulfilled in the life of all who suffer unjust persecutions today for being right and just. Like Christ, sometimes we are persecuted by our enemies and even by our friends for being just. However, we must remain steadfast because God will surely vindicate us as he vindicated Christ. Our second reading reminds us of the importance of focusing sincerely on the things that unite us rather than on the ones that divide, divide us. We all desire a humorous and a harmonious, a harmonious life, yet many Christian communities, families, and homes live in frequent conflicts and disorder. As much as conflicts are inevitable in life, we must not allow them to tear us apart as families as churches, as communities, as countries. Sadre, the root of most of such disputes is selfish ambitions. So, James admonishes us not to let selfish ambitions destroy our relationships, families, and communities. Look at your family. Is your family worrying? If you are fighting as a family, find out the root. You may be surprised to find that one of your brother is very selfish and wants everything for himself. One of your sister could be very selfish or even your dad or your mom. Selfishness is one thing that is killing our families today. Did you know 75% of the court cases, family court cases, some of whom that I'm going to for some of which that are going for mediation are about ambitions, greed, and untold 
injustices. That is what is eating us. Look at your communities. Why are you fighting in your church? Why are you fighting in your jumuiya? That tells you how bad and selfish sometimes we can be. Our gospel passage today teaches us a very important lesson. That is, the true measure of greatness is not in power, status, or wealth, but in humility and service to others. So back to our second reading. Why are we so greedy? Because we want power. And when we want power, we can be able to rule over others, sit on them, and lord over them. So, our pursuit for greatness is all time wrong. In our society, it is easy to be tempted to measure ourselves by what we have or what we have achieved. We are often driven by the desire for power, fame, and success. However, Jesus shows us that the real greatness lies in serving others, especially the least among others. When Jesus used a child as an example, he was saying that we should become like children in our humility, in our innocence, and dependence on God. Children are not concerned about status, wealth, or power. They are honest, open, and trusting. In the same way, we should strive to be humble, honest, and open-hearted trusting in God's plan for our lives. Jesus calls us to be servants of all, just as he was the servant of all. He showed us how to serve by washing his disciples' feet, healing the sick, and feeding the hungry. He even sacrificed his own life for us. He taught us that true greatness comes from serving others and putting their needs before our very own. As we reflect on this gospel reading, let us ask ourselves, how can I serve others today? It doesn't have to be a grand gesture. It can be as simple, as simple as helping a neighbor, listening to a friend indeed, or volunteering at a local charity. When we serve others, we are following in Jesus' footsteps and showing his love to the world. Let us pray today that God will give us the grace to be humble, to serve others with love, and to become more like children in our trust and dependence on him. May we always remember that true greatness lies in serving others. May we strive, may we st and may we strive to live our lives in a way that honors this truth. Thank you. Today we are on, the, on day 8 in our novena. And as you know, um, if you have not joined us today or by the end of tomorrow, you'll be late. So keep writing to get your document, kenyafr at gmail.com. By the end of tomorrow, you'll be late to start with us. But that doesn't mean that you can't pray with us. You can just start where you will be. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I want to rekindle my faith. I desire 
faith like a child. Pure, unadulterated, and earnest. While Christ calls us to become like children, the world pushes us to mature at a rapid rate. In doing so, we lose something. Help me to trust, as a child fully trusts their parents to love and care for them. Assist me in my endeavor to place myself in your hands, knowing that you will always watch over me. I am your child, O God, not because I am immature and incapable, but because I am beloved. You have graciously redeemed me from my sinful state. While my eyes have been opened to the nature of the world, I long for the simplicity and child of childhood, marked by joy, learning, and growth. May I discover that which has been lost over time, and once more be like those children gracing Jesus' lap. For your honor and glory. Amen. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My dear friend, I remain your priest and servant, Father C.K., wishing you a productive and a happy Sunday. Thank you and God bless.